The Cloaca Maxima, or the greatest drain, is an engineering feat that the Romans celebrate all throughout their history. Now, according to tradition, it goes back to the regal period, and this is when the Romans start to drain the runoff water on the various hills surrounding the Roman Forum. And in fact, the Cloaca Maxima passes right through the Roman Forum for centuries as an open ditch. We actually have a nice description of it in the second century BC by the author Plautus. But by the time of Augustus, that Cloaca Maxima goes underground. And it's that underground drain that still functions today. It was celebrated in antiquity. It's celebrated by many authors, including Pliny the Elder. And it's a structure that stretches on about a mile. It empties out by gravity flow to the Tiber River. How big was the Cloaca Maxima? Well, according to tradition, it was so large that Agrippa, when he does modernize the Cloaca Maxima in the age of Augustus, can go and inspect it by boat standing up. Parts of the Cloaca Maxima are visible and accessible today. What's it made out of? It's made with blocks of cut stone, the tuff, the local bedrock, the volcanic stone of ancient Rome. Now, the difficulty in these kind of drain systems is that when the Tiber was in flood, the water would go backwards up to its point of origin. And so in antiquity, on occasion, even the Roman Forum, the heart of the ancient capital, the heart of the empire, was under several meters of water. 